2017, it was the year that aviation barely stopped for breath. A year when most airlines made good profits, passengers got better service and bigger beds. Planes were fuller and flew further, as Qantas showed, flying Perth to London non-stop. I feel very proud, very proud of Qantas, very proud of our people, and it's a very historic occasion. It was a year of change. There were political headwinds that buffeted airlines and real headwinds that delayed planes. We were reminded time and again, this industry is at the forefront of the world's challenges. We must be proud of what we have done and we have structurally rebuilt in a, a, a more resilient industry, but we are still fragile and the buffer is not very thick. While airlines were making money, some didn't make it at all. Air Berlin and Monarch flew their last flights, while Alitalia may be bankrupt, but it's still flying, awaiting further investment if the carrier is to survive. One much-loved friend, the original jumbo jet, the Boeing 747, left the US fleet for good. The growth of low-cost, long-haul continued apace, as Norwegian grew its phenomenal network and European carriers joined the battle. IAG's level took off. The response has been very, very positive. It has exceeded our expectations. Lufthansa's Eurowings expanded. In Asia, Scoot consolidated its gains, and Jetstar and AirAsia X grew. There were deals to be done. Some expected, some not. Airbus basically bought Bombardier's C-Series. And now the talk is Embraer and Boeing, and when, not if, they'll tie the knot. IAG is trying to buy Norwegian, a positioning move, no doubt. For passengers, there was relief. That tiresome ban on personal electronic devices on certain routes was relaxed. Now, once again, you can annoy fellow passengers. And the nasty spat between the Americans and the Gulf 3 has been settled. It's a complex agreement. 2017 was a year without jet fatalities, an enviable record that sadly not lasted into 2018. This year, there's economic turbulence on the horizon. Oil prices are rising, yields remain under pressure, competition intense. We've been there before, Richard. Don't forget, we were up at 140 at one point. Yeah, and everybody and everybody was crying. And, and they were crying. But, you know, actually, the, the whole industry managed... There were casualties. And the higher the fuel price, the more likely uh, there will be casualties coming along uh, in the next uh, year or so. In fact, 2018 is shaping up to give aviation real headaches. The blockade of Qatar rewriting the rules of the Gulf. There are worries over Brexit and whether Europe's airlines will continue to fly freely to the UK. Oh, aviation has learned lessons of the past and is better structured and managed to fight economic woes ahead. So they say, we shall see.